everyone, welcome to Master Life by Design YouTube channel. If you like our show, please hit that subscribe button, like it, thumbs up, or leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you and hear what you think about today's show. So with that being said, what I want to talk to you about today is the difference between shame and guilt. Now, let's be honest, we've all felt guilty at some point in our life. We may have even have felt shame. A lot of people confuse the two, and we'll talk about that here in a minute. Have you ever found yourself in a position where you just were you were just ashamed of what you've done? Or maybe you were ashamed of what happened in a certain area of your life in the past, and we keep reliving that story over and over and over again. Well, here's the difference. Most people confuse shame and guilt. Guilt means I did something wrong, whereas shame means I am wrong or I am somebody who's bad. So let me put it another way. Shame says I'm bad. Guilt says I've done something bad. Most people confuse the two and they think that for a moment they do something that they are a bad person for doing that thing instead of saying they feel guilty that they've done something bad. So the first step in anything when it comes to working around these emotions is you got to get clear on what that emotion really is to you. Because sometimes we may feel frustration or we might feel anger. There's a difference, right? And so we got to make sure that we're clear. Is this guilt or is this shame? Did I do something wrong or am I somebody who's wrong or am I someone who's bad or did I do something that's bad? The difference is huge because depending on the path that you take, they lead to different roads. Let me give you a quick example. <clears throat> when it comes to people who have an addiction, it starts off on something small, but then over time it becomes this big problem, this big epidemic, right? It becomes an addiction. And what happens is in this cycle of emotions, what they do is they go from this place of feeling guilty, which is I've done something bad, to now shame or shame feeling shameful, which is I am somebody bad. So if you're somebody who's really trying to help someone around this addiction, maybe in a dark place or, you know, or somebody who's kind of confused on the two, the guilt and the shame, the one thing you want to look at is the identity. You want to make sure that people aren't falling into the trap that they are somebody who is bad. That they clearly define the line that they've done something bad. The difference is huge because when it comes to identity, how we see ourselves, that is the strongest force in the human psychology. How we see ourselves is how we show up to the world, how we react to the world. So we want to make sure that people aren't seeing themselves as somebody who is bad, but maybe that they've done something bad. Again, not justifying either or, but if we're going to look on a degree or a higher degree level, having that thought that I am someone who's bad, that shame kicking in is a lot more powerful than, hey, I've done something bad. Let's take the weight off that person. Maybe that person is you. Maybe you need that taken off of that weight off of you. So remember, you may have done something bad or something that wasn't in alignment with your values, but that's not who you are. When we can make that clear distinction, that's when we can start to break down this stronghold that we may be in. So if you or anyone that you know or you love that is in this position, help them see, let them see this video. Because here's what I found, I've worked with a lot of clients who have shame around, you know, maybe cheating or porn or certain addictions that they have. And the first place I really like to go is finding out how they see themselves. Is it shame or is it guilt that they're experiencing and just confusing the two? When we can start there, that's how we can start to unravel this process that seems so complex and make it break down to be something so simple. So. I hope this helps you distinguish between shame and guilt that you may have done something bad versus you are someone who's bad. If this video has helped, please comment below. Again, this isn't to help break addictions or you know the strongholds that we might be living in. This is the first step that I would start with and I just wanted to share with you the power in how we see ourselves versus something you've done. 
So again, if this helped, please comment below, hit that like button, subscribe, and or share this video with someone that you know that needs it or that you love. We appreciate you here at Master Life by Design. I appreciate you, I love you, so thank you for tuning in. So remember, if you're waking up every morning, there's a purpose on your life. The only time that you don't have a purpose on this earth is when you don't wake up. So. You're here for a reason. Go out there, share with the world what you're meant to be here for, what you're supposed to spread in this world, and we look forward to hearing about your success stories here in the future. So with that, go out there, make today count. Joe Moffat, Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See ya.